I'm Scott Tinker, and I'm a geologist. There's an economic reality to any new energy choice. To transition from any single energy technology, let's just take automobiles that run on gasoline, refined oil, to a hybrid car or a plug-in hybrid or even a complete electric car, there's a huge cost to that transition. And it's in the trillions of dollars globally. So that cost dictates pace. The economy just simply can't stop one and start another without having serious ramifications. There's no doubt that the most abundant source of energy on Earth, and nothing else is close, is the sun. Um, but we still aren't very good at, at capturing a disseminated source, concentrating it, storing it, and transmitting it to where it needs to be. There's tremendous loss along the way, inefficiencies. That loss drives up the cost to the consumer. And like it or not, um, all of our energy choices, historically, and for the most part moving forward, particularly in developing economies, are going to be based on cost. What's the price per kilowatt hour? What's the price of gasoline? When these things go up, there's a, a loud, predictable, um, unified voice from the public that says, give me back my reliable, cheap energy. We're spoiled. We're not addicted to oil. We are addicted to energy. Uh, and, and it's not just America. The world is and is becoming that. So, so that, that cost transition to make other choices affordable and competitive takes a long time. Tremendous amount of invention, materials, technology, science, and understanding to go to something that could be very useful on a small prototype scale or in a particular market, geographic market, to make it scalable to be applicable on a broad scale is, is very challenging. You cannot make a choice that's so sudden that it, it impacts the economy in a very dramatic way because that will have such negative ramifications on the environment. A global recession would drive um, choices into markets that were all about basic needs and very few on, on the environment. So that dance, I call it the waltz of the three E's, the waltz of energy, environment, and economy, is, a, is an elegant one. It's complex. It's subtle. But it's so important to recognize how closely tied those three E's are.